All right, what's up, guys? So, Avantex has uploaded another streamer most heated moments. Let's go ahead and get into number eight of this series. Make sure if you guys haven't, go subscribe to Avantex for more videos like this. Same with that. And also, follow any uh, streamers. They, if you do want to follow them, go ahead and shoot them a follow too. But anyways. Recently, Kai got into a serious fist fight with his best friend, Ray. It all started when Kai Sinet tried to get the girl to sing. However, when Ray came kept interrupting the singing performance and started to talk trash on the stream the situation became so heated I, that i don't i don't think they actually got into like a real legitimate fist fight that would have been that would have been probably the first streamer breaking news moment like everybody would have been eating this up but i was like i don't know how long ago this happened i don't know if it was just like yesterday or what but yeah everybody had been talking about it. even if it was just yesterday but anyway kaisinet started to first push ray this, and you go like this hey i'm not playing with you you understand the words that's coming out my mouth what the is wrong with you i would deport back and you pay from i will back back please you want to do it yeah, my visa expired. My visa expired. Shut the fuck up, you boss rat! Roach! <laughs> my bet! Stop! <laughs> you trying to show- Why you trying to- Oh, whoa. Ah, it's it. You gotta- you gotta chill. And then even <laughs> challenged his best friend to a one-on-one -on -one fist fight where he even gave Ray a serious punch. <laughs> you look- And the next situation. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, they Kai. The thing is, this like, if you watch Kai's streams, you can see like when you can see when he's being serious and when he's not being serious. And I feel like even though he's portraying like he is like serious and upset and all that, he's not. I I just um I just think that's something where it's like a person like they're just really good at acting and stuff. So yeah, it's like it, it's just it's one of those things where it's like yeah, I I. Like I say, it would have been breaking news all across Twitter, t TikTok, and literally everywhere. But anyway, it's not with a streamer, but this recent event is so oh, big yeah. that I need to mention this in this video. It's about the recent Nikocado video where he exposed his feelings completely. Oh. And I don't like this. I thought it was talking about his. I don't like loss. this channel. I don't like what I'm doing with my life. I had goals. I had dreams. And I threw it all away to eat food. However, one day later, oh. a new video came out on his channel named Two Steps Ahead, where he showed that he had lost his complete weight. That's crazy. So I That's cool, am though. the villain because I've made myself one. Thankfully, this situation didn't end in a complete disaster, which is something that cannot be said for the next situation on this list involving kickstreamer Lil Dealy, who got pressed by a random bystander just because he was streaming in public. What? Don't record. What's that? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you want to do? What do you want to do about it? Yeah. What do you want to do about it? my permission. What do you want to do about it? Yeah, my permission. What do you want to do about it? I'm coming. Calm. You're in a public place, goof. Goof kid, do something about it. Do something about it. It's cool. Yeah, that's crazy. It's like if my thing is this: if the person streaming, recording, whatever the situation is, if they're not bothering you and they going on about, now it's one thing if they like all up up in your face and things like holding the camera and stuff, then that's when you get on them about some stuff. If they walking right past you and they're not even acknowledging you, fam, you can't approach somebody on some attitude where it's like, I gotta stop streaming or recording for your sake. No, bro, get out my face. And the next situation on this list would continue the trend of violence as it ended with a streamer by the name of face banks attacking a fan's car after getting stream sniped the conflict mm. would start oh, almost yeah, immediately this. after the fans of face banks stream sniped the streamer and the banks could be seen yeah. throwing multiple objects at the fan's car drive. Drive. I, record. Hey, go, I don't know go, why go, people drive. do stuff like drive. this talking on the stream snipers drive. it's like fam just leave people alone okay. drive 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 
this it's aggressive like, to me that I, I just find that weird it's like regardless if you're a teenager a grown man if you're a grown man doing this yeah that's just you you gonna get the cops called on you for doing that crap but I, anybody though it's like you should not be carrying on it's like you guys there are so many different things you could be doing throughout the day and it's like you'd rather just go and stream snipe somebody that stuff is weird the action made by the streamer prompted the defense office to drive away from the scene in an effort to avoid any more conflict however more conflict is exactly what would occur in the next situation on this list as it would result in an entire fight being caught live on camera for the entire internet to see the situation would start out with the streamer arguing with his father who was supposedly intoxicated during this confrontation oh, the wow. arguing would go on for a few more moments before like the confrontation would like turn before, physical never, as like, the streamer's father didn't know who the guy was but that's crazy there would push the streamer out of his chair that's crazy that is crazy and the next streamer that's on the list crazy. is cook sucks yeah who got that's something where i'm like i encourage any content creator out there even if you gotta like live with a random person like live with somebody that will overall respect your content creating dreams and stuff because yeah it's like if you living in a household like that fam yeah best thing you get you can do is move out so but and it's messed up that you gotta be put in a situation like that but i feel like that's literally the best option that you have threatened with a knife by a random person. The situation would occur in New York City while Cooksox was IRL streaming on Twitch. And while the streamer was walking across a crosswalk, the stream would take a turn for the worse as Cooksox would be confronted by a random citizen for allegedly recording other people. The conflict would continue to escalate further, eventually to a point where the citizen would pull out a knife. What is that? A kn why are you flashing a knife? Violence, man. Peaceful. That's crazy. But thankfully, the situation wouldn't escalate further to the point of physical violence as both people involved in the confrontation went their separate ways. Yeah, like, that's what I was going to say. I'm like, I, yeah, I think I will wait there for... Well, I don't know. I, it's, it's just something where I'm like, just make sure, you know, you keep an eye on your, you know, your back. Because that guy, that was what concerned me is that guy come r running around the corner and he's trying to do something and stuff like stab him if he's sitting there flashing a the knife so yeah that's something where i'm like fam get home in the stream do whatever you is do whatever you need to do to just protect your safety but yeah it's stuff like that i'm like nah man that's a dangerous game to be playing and the next heated moment would start out with duke dennis and kai Sinet having an argument because duke was angry that kai Sinet destroyed something from his room however the argument became so heated that in one moment on the stream duke dennis oh, went think, to kai yeah. Sinet's room and destroyed some it of it was both agent and kai <laughs> <laughs> were reacting to this i see it this is like i don't know if it was like if this was on them like actually arguing see i feel like yeah it's like a person so good at acting you don't really know whether they being serious or not so yeah but it, it's something where i'm like it, if they were being serious yeah I, you it, or you know if they were joking you wouldn't be able to tell so but man, I was like, I was watching this myself and it's like, dang, bro. I'm like, it, it's one of those things where if I'm just that friend, I don't live there. I'm like, yeah, bro, I think I'm about to dip. Like, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> leave the spot because <laughs> there's there's some extra activities going on that I don't want to be a part of. So Paintings in the room. Yo, just chill. No, not the MJ. Not the MJ poster, please, bro. Dang. I'm going to swear to God. Oh, bro, <laughs> what followed this was a multiple minute long argument between Kai and the Duke. However, the situation was eventually calmed down and no one was physically harmed. And the next streamer on the list is Satui. So Satui was approached by a random person who immediately began to antagonize the what streamer like for a, recording. I can't tell whether that's like a muffin or a steak. Like what is what is he eating? similar like the heated moment before but the situation would then escalate even further the random man knocked the food that the streamer oh, wow. was holding Dang. out of his hand you're stupid. you're stupid brother i'll smash this you know 
I'm a left. Don't touch You're recording shit. people, bro. And the next situation but it's on the like, how does that bother you? That that's something I don't know. And I guess like because I'm a content creator, that's why it wouldn't really bother me. But it's something where I'm like, fam, I didn't see people go out and about and record. I'm like, more power to them. I'm not that type of person that would be like going around recording and all that stuff. But if I see other people recording, taking pictures, they ain't got nothing to do with me. And I feel like even if I wasn't a content creator still, it wouldn't bother me. It's something where I'm like, all right, that person's living their life recording whatever it is they want. Maybe this is like their one and only chance of being out here. That's why they're recording. I, I just find stuff like that so you're approaching somebody and they, you talk about you're recording people, okay? And they're like, do you realize how many street cameras and everything else? I'm like, they probably got full-blown spy planes recording each and every one of our movements. It's like, bro, get out of here with that. Ain't nobody bothering This you. list involving streamer Kizzy the Kid would result in the streamer getting banned from Kick. The situation would start out with the streamer walking on a sidewalk in Miami like and starting to disrupt random strangers yep. by taking food from their plate. I remember this. There was even no reason to do that. However, he, to the surprise kid, of Kizzy the Kid, the woman who the streamer had stole food from would confront the streamer and punch the camera as a result of what happened. But the next situation on this list would lead- But notice how he walked past that one dude, that uh, the first table and stuff with the dude sitting there. He wouldn't have did that to him. He did it to the two women because he's like, oh, I can handle myself. The two women it still would have got himself stumped out. To a kick streamer by the name of Sam Panday almost being killed by live streaming. The streamer sneered death experience would start out as the streamer was riding in a car while appearing to be tired. The situation would take a drastic turn as the car that the streamer was in would violently crash. Oh shit! Oh. Dang. Oh my god! Ah! Dang, he's okay. like... Get up, 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 that's crazy. And the next situation involving streamer FusiTube and popular boxer Ryan Garcia would result in the two getting into a heated argument. The conflict between the two would start at the gym, where Ryan Garcia would insult FusiTube's chat for talking about him. Chaz, I see you guys talking about me. You guys, stupid ass G7 group. You guys, bitches. If I seen your person up, you guys say to my face. And this action made by the boxer would anger the streamer who would respond by telling Ryan to not talk about his chat. You ain't saying shit to G7, they got you. You ain't saying shit to G7, you say, you're saying G7 to the G7 president. I'm G7's president nah, too. I gotta talk to you, I gotta talk to you about yeah, some shit. Yeah, we can talk to you about anything, talk about yeah, shit, But you yeah, can't talk yeah, about G7 yeah, like yeah, that. I'm However, Ryan obviously. I'm like, man, it's just when I see some content creators when they act like this, it's like, are y'all trying to like try out to be wrestlers or something? I, I just, besides like that, just that amount of energy that they're having, it's like, y'all, y'all are arguing over a chat. Like, I just, man, <laughs> I, I just, I don't know. It's just at times I just see some things with content creators, and I'm like, man. Uh, I'm I'm like I'm really happy that I'm not in that position where I'm like I'm just at home chilling like I ain't I ain't gotta worry about stuff like this like at times yeah I'll find myself getting into some arguments here and there but yeah I just feel like something like this it's just it's 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 weird man it's it's just a weird thing. He wouldn't take FusiTube's advice <laughs> as following the statement a multiple minute long argument would start between like the two where both would thing. insult each other multiple times. And the next heated streamer moment happened to PewDiePie who accidentally said the n-word live on stream well, multiple times. He's playing uh, PUBG. Stop yep. saying Nick girl. Oh great. I should uh, why did I fall for that? <laughs> Seriously. Some of the situations where the content creator said the n-word could be seen as an accident, but other instances where PewDiePie said the n-word were much more blatant, such as the time where the streamer called an opponent on a video yeah. game the n-word for no reason. What a fucking Jeez, oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> it is like, so what? I don't get that insult. Like, I, it's something where I'm like, I get why a person is saying it, but I just don't get, like, I guess, like, if a person says, like, oh, I'm not a racist, but it's like, okay, 
why would you say that then? Like, I, <laughs> it's like, I don't, I don't get that. Like, it, and it's like, fam, I don't see how that could be an insult when overall, like the origins of that word is a black person. So it's like, like what they're the person it be like they're it's just it's weird like it, it's just weird to me i i don't get that as a, like you could say idiot and everything else but it's like you're calling them a black person like why because they're what either good at the game or bad at the game they're doing something that you don't like like i don't i don't get that i it's just it's it's weird to me but yeah it's it's something where i'm like you know i i've been seeing this for i don't know how many years um as just you know watching videos on youtube like that's just how people talk and it's like there's no reason to talk like that it's just it's it's a weird thing and i'm like especially somebody in his position i'm like bro there there's so many different things you should i my thing is is this i'm nowhere near uh where pewdiepie is at but i'm like i can correct myself but i just don't talk like that even when it's like outside like i don't say anything that's going to pretty much like how i talk like off camera is how i would talk on camera so it's like whatever you're seeing for me like right now this is how i talk off camera so it's just something where i'm like i think a person you just need to practice how you talk off camera and so when you do get on camera you ain't gotta worry about yourself saying nothing crazy because it's like when i'm streaming recording videos whatever podcast episodes whatever it is it's like i don't worry about me messing up or i don't have to like edit stuff out because it's like i don't talk crazy i might say some like out of pocket stuff just like joking around but yeah it's like i don't say nothing where i'm uh, like i am gonna have to record an apology video for it afterwards and stuff so sorry but what the f what a fucking however the next situation on this list involving a content creator by the name braces. of twitchy boom showed the streamer having multiple seizures while live streaming on twitch i bet it's because it's like doing them like like subathons or like you the streamer would showcase out. these seizures on his youtube channel where he can be seen playing various video games before having a seizure in the middle of his live stream and the next streamer you, it's like people you gotta take care of your health it's like don't be i because even i see where people and they do that if they do a subathon like they'll still sleep at night like they'll probably be recording themselves as they sleep and then they just wake up go do whatever it is that they need to do and then come back to the stream do it like that but like live live your day like it's any normal day even if you are doing the subathon but it's like them 12 hour 24 hour like straight streams where you just like you're not sleep or yeah you're not sleeping and you're just that's dangerous so i'm like don't don't do stuff like that there's neon who got pressed by aiden ross security guard for trying to say the n-word in one of his older live streams yo at least y'all are honest bro thank you for the sub I heard you want to say the N word. Oh! Say the N word? No! Oh! oh my god. Say it. Say it. I'm not gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Say it. Oh, oh my god. Oh! 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 Yeah! Oh, he's smiling. Yeah! Up there. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! 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 And the next streamer yeah, is Ice Poseidon who got yeah. arrested because of a text-to-speech donation that caused a complete chaos. So the streamer was, was live streaming on a Washington? speech conference when suddenly this TTS donation appeared. I think so. C4 has been successfully activated. Bomb detonation countdown successfully started. <laughs> There's no reason to do crap like that. So and stupid. after this incident, Ice Poseidon got arrested shortly by police and paid a fine. And the next heated That's moment... That's so stupid to be doing crap like that. And it's like, yeah, you fine. I think that was out here in Washington and he got arrested and he was all like, what are you arresting me for? And it's like, yeah, because you out here terrorizing people for no reason. I'm saying it's like, there's so many different things you could do as a content creator. You feel like you got to do crap like that as a content creator. You're not a content creator. You just a fake. So it's like, yeah, it's one of those things where I'm like, there's so many different things you could do gaming um do other types of irl streams if that's like the type of like content you want to do it's like fam there's so much different content that you can do but it's like if you feel like that's the only form of content that you could do don't be a content creator when it happened to logan paul who got spit on his face from a hater oh yeah i remember this she didn't even spit on me she didn't make contact no cool dude i don't know if that's what life's about i'm sorry not really Okay. No. I, well, listen, I got nothing but love for you, okay? 
Thank you. Nothing but love? I don't really respect you that much. All good. I, I've got nothing but love for you. Respect, you empathy, everything. That's, for real. That's not cool. Do you like my jacket, Alex? Well, I do. I like everything. Unless somebody have done that to her, she had been like, oh, yeah, she probably had been crying. Like, or it's something that's just, like, equally, like, something that would, like, damage her to her core. She had been crying. I'm like, yeah, I get it. You don't like him. But it, it's stuff like that where it's like, why? You know? Like, because my thing is, is this. I feel like she had to have known, like, yeah, he, it, it, where he's at in his career right now, he's not going to stoop down to your level and do something. But let's say if he was that crazy individual where he chased you down, started punching you, beating you, you had been all laid down on the ground crying, and you're all like, I should, I, I regretted this, or it's like, but it's like you put yourself in a situation where you don't even need to be put in that situation. So, yeah, people, it's like, look, if you see a content creator that you don't like, going about your business you ain't got to be around them you ain't got to do nothing it's like fam you're putting yourself in situations where you gonna feel like oh i'm comfortable doing this you're gonna get too comfortable and then you're gonna find yourself in a situation where you're either fighting for your life in the hospital or you're in the morgue one of the two because she is gonna do this to the, the future, wrong somebody not one day spit on people and then run away and if you are gonna run, run away you gotta be faster than that and a similar situation with logan paul also happened a few years ago where he would get into a huge argument with one of his brother's friends and a serious fight would happen live on camera that's crazy Now, Armani, you, you fucked up. And even like it seems this was the baddest moment on this video, it gets even worse because an f was pulled on the streamer Kang Joel. The streamer would get into a heated argument live on the streets because they was joking around. And the random bystander would interrupt the stream by pulling out an f. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry for what? Is, uh, you working here? I fell, I fell. That's crazy. Do you smoke your funny face like that? No, 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 no. It's not even a joke like that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. And the That's next crazy. situation would involve kick streamer Neon being swatted once again while streaming. The conflict would That's start when a Neon would be confronted by two police officers because someone of his live stream reported a false bomb threat in the area that Neon was. Hey, so just so you're aware, someone obviously they called in a, a bomb threat. Yeah. That uh, they put a bunch of bombs here, and that's the case. I know you're live streaming and all that. Yeah. You know if at any point you guys pointed the camera out and that's not that, that uh, address, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. You guys are good, though. Yeah, we're good. How long are you guys gonna be in the city mm -hmm. streaming for? Uh, I, I live here. But how long are you gonna be out and about streaming uh, on the street? Um, probably like a, a little longer, maybe an hour or two. No, it's just the same guy that does it to me every day. Every day. Oh my God, Mo scared me so bad, huh? He does it every, yesterday. They do it every day. Can you like blacklist my name? My name is Mikhail. And the next heated moment is with Kai Sinet, who got pressed by rapper Lil Baby. The conflict between the two what? would begin when Kai would ask Lil Baby how many cars he had, to which the rapper would respond by saying that he had 20. However, the situation became quickly weird when Kai asked Lil Baby to borrow one of his cars, to which Lil Baby replied with a yes, but then immediately started pressuring Kai that if something happened to his car, he would take valuable things from Kai Sinet, such as his iced out chain. Like 20 fucking cars? For sure. You think I could borrow one though? For sure, where you going? Oh shit! Oh. You, got, you got a lot of collateral, so I don't mind. Collateral? You got a lot of collateral. What that mean? Like, you got something to put up you know, to use my car. You ain't just using my car just to use it. Word? I, so wait, so I can't just use the just use the car like just to go out, you know, film on saying real quick and then come back, drop it off. Yeah, I'm just saying in case you don't come back or you fuck it up, you got a little stuff that can help me get my stuff back. You know, like chain, watch. Oh no, oh no, that's my that's my chain, nominee. I gotta keep this one. Like you feel what I'm saying? Nah, I was saying you fuck my car. Like you got then it. I then I then I have to like. And the next heat at the moment. I mean, I, I I don't know. I feel like I get that. Like yeah, it's like I don't want somebody just out there just take it. Oh, cause I got money. I got a lot of cars. Like you could just go out and about, just tear it up and things. I'm like, no, you gotta show respect to my stuff. So yeah, it's just one of those things, Rob. I like I I get where he's coming from, but I'm like, fam, can we can we just do things the normal way? <laughs> like if I 
do mess it up like i just like whatever the damages are i'll, I'll pay for it out of pocket but it's like i yeah it's something where i'm all like bro you can't you can't just be taking my stuff like that but yeah that's what i'm all like like kai just go out and get your own cars bro just just go get your own cars swifty island boys that <clears throat> would occur on the impulsive podcast when a co-host of the podcast by the name of george jenko would give the island boys financial advice that would help them to maintain good finances in case their music fell off I think you guys take all of your jewelry assets and invest in something. So you guys will never ever be broke again. However, knowing how the Island Boys are, they didn't appreciate Janko's advice. And just a few moments following George Janko's initial statement, the Island Boys would decide to leave the Impulsive podcast altogether. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, no, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, no, hold on. Podcast. No. Here, I'm moving for you. I was giving you nice advice, bro. I, I agree with that. Wow. And the next heated That's live crazy. streamer situation. Uh, yeah, it's like they, he he's just trying to help y'all out. It's like it's it's one of those things where I'm like, like I feel like a lot of people need to know and understand that. Like if you want, my thing is this: if you are going to buy things, buy things that you can invest in. So like for an example, I buy sneakers. And I know a lot of people probably look at it as like, oh, he's just buying sneakers just to buy them. He's just selling. No, I buy sneakers because I'm like, okay, I could use this stuff as content. I could use my sneakers as content. I'm not just out here just buying things just to be buying them. Literally everything that I buy. Yeah, there might be some things that I buy just for my like own, like just, you know, like just to have it and stuff. But no, yeah, there's at times where I'll buy things because I'm like, like I, I see this as investment i see where i can like a video game i'm like okay people think of you just buying a video game gc just so you can sit around just be playing video games i'm like no i'm buying this video game because i know i can make a hundred videos out of this video game so yeah it's like and then same with sneakers i'm like fam the amount of content i can make instagram content with my sneakers i can make tiktok content youtube content i'm like fam that's it, it's like yeah, I might spend like $200 on a pair of sneakers, but I'm like, either I'm going to make that money back or more. So it's like, it's something where it's just, yeah, it's like, you know, people, people got to look at it like that. It's like, you're going to buy things, buy stuff where you can make an, get an investment out of it and stuff. But anyways. Involving two popular content creators by the name of Aiden Ross and Ricegum would be a result of the beef that these two had with each other. The situation would start when Aiden Ross decided to go to Ricegum's house while live streaming oh, on Instagram this. This just thing? to confront rice gum about their beef in person come the fuck bro open the is this when door, bro. Was streaming on Twitch. open the door why are you being a bitch, bro right, seriously oh, this shit, shit is really childish oh in the live on the live we should fucking talk it out though like nah bro like you're just right, on some weird shit no, bro, I don't even want to, bro. Because all motherfuckers understand that I'm the, I'm the one. However, the confrontation between the two content creators would end fairly soon after it started as Ricegum would refuse to talk to Aiden. However, the next situation involving two content creators by the name of FusiTube and Bryce Hall would be much worse. Because it would result with FusiTube getting knocked out. The conflict between the content creators would occur while the two were filming yeah, a reality TV show. Show, and at one point in the show, Fusey would put his hand in front of a woman's face to the disapproval of Bryce Hall. And following the initial confrontation, the two would proceed to get into a heated argument, which escalated to the point where Bryce Hall would knock out Fusey. And the next That's situation crazy. involving popular Fortnite streamer Ninja would result in the streamer saying that he would never play Fortnite again. The situation would occur while Ninja was streaming himself playing Fortnite and while this seems like a normal day for the streamer, the day would take a turn for the worse when a Ninja would be repeatedly stream sniped over the course of multiple games. And this repeat- That's what I'm like, that's one thing that I love about Fortnite is that you can play other like modes in there so yeah that's something that i definitely would do i just play different modes in fortnite i wouldn't play like the battle royale mode if i know people gonna be out here stream sniping me and stuff and messing up my game but yeah it's just something where i'm like i yeah if this is like my favorite game i'm not gonna go and just continue playing the same thing and messing up my game I'm like no nah, i'll play something else and things within fortnite but that yeah that's what i said i was like you know i just like how fortnite has other modes so i'm like bro do that but i mean yeah there are other games that he can play and stuff but anyway that stream sniping 
clipping would provoke the streamer to rage live, where he would state that he would not stream himself playing Fortnite if people continued to stream snipe him. The same kids, bro. So strange. Uh, this game is so stupid, bro. Like the community, these little kids, is just so dumb. And the thing is, man, these little cloud chasing. They losers. should do that though with video games, where it's all like, if you're a content creator, and I guess like there'll probably be people out there that'll try to like figure it out, like, oh, how could I like work my way around any things? But no, they should have it where it's all like, if you're a content creator and you're playing a video game, but you don't want people to stream snipe you, there should be a settings within the video game where it's like, and they could even add it to the streamer mode uh section where it's like, okay, streamer mode, it's like turn off music um any like copyrighted content but then they should have a thing where it's all like you know keeping the game like invite only and stuff and you have that option on so it's like people ain't just joining in on your game and then messing your game up and stuff i feel like people try to figure out like oh well, i'll just catch another person's name but it's like no have it where it's like the people's uh in game names is blocked out too so it's like you don't have to worry about them joining in on another person's game like they should start doing that they should make like streamer mode stuff um more like i guess uh friendlier for content creators and things but anyway they have no idea man like all they're doing is just harming the game man because i'm not gonna play it i'm not gonna play it i'm not gonna stream it we killed ninja i haven't played the game and I, I ever play it anymore i come back and i still almost kill all of you idiots however the next situation on this list would garner much more sympathy than the last as this situation would involve a streamer being attacked for no reason by his dad while streaming the heated right. moment would occur while the streamer was playing a game when all of a sudden the streamer would find himself being attacked by his own father And while the streamer tried to ignore the first strike, following a second strike, the streamer decided to fight back. It's like, bro, you is ass. That's crazy. And the next streamer on the list That's is crazy. famous content creator Arab, who would get threatened by a gang member live on stream. So Arab was streaming in Miami without knowing that he was sitting next to a gang member. And the gang member didn't like the fact that he was being recorded. And while initially Arab would refuse to stop recording him on camera, this would all change when the gang member would pull out a gun and threaten Arab. I wanted to chill, I'm just chilling watching. You ever heard of Redhead Seven Pizza? It's viral on TikTok. But why would he sit next? I'm like, I. It looked like there's a bunch of like open spaces. I sit any and everywhere else. I'm not gonna sit right next to a person and stuff. Invade their personal space and just be like, oh yeah, I'm just sitting here streaming and things. Nah, bro. A gang member, motherfucker. I haven't, brother. I'm not trying to start any issues. He's still just sitting there recording. I'm not a pig, brother. Hey, hey, brother. Sorry, brother. My bad, dog. Do it live. We'll do it live. I just whipped out a gun. Which forced That's the streamer crazy. to leave. And the next situation would include the content creator Logan Paul, who had many public confrontations with people over the years, including one case where he would confront a random person who had yelled F Jake Paul. And another case including Logan Paul where a random person would insult Logan in front of multiple people which would result with Logan pushing the random person away from him. I you know that's something where I'm like I, I don't get you know, I, or I, okay, I guess like I understand why people don't like Logan Paul, but I'm like, fam, if it's over that uh video that he, you know, that yeah, I think the, you know, we all know what video I'm talking about, but 
if it's over that reason i'm like look i'm pretty sure that's probably if there is anything in this man's career he could take away it definitely will be that moment like it ain't even gonna be like no top 100 top five top no that's like the number one thing where he's like oh i would definitely wipe that away from my career and yeah but it's like if it's anything else, it's like, what? You don't like his videos? You don't like that he's a wrestler? You don't like... Bro, let that stuff go. I Man, it's just, you know, it, it, it could be any and everything out there. It's like, I don't know. I guess, like, with me, I'm a very forgiving person, you know? And there's something where I'm like, if a person apologizes, and I can see, like, you know, like, they wish that they could take back the things that they did. I'm like, I'm not going to be that person to hold something over their head and be like, no, any and every time I see you, it's always going to be on this, like, wild energy where I got to, like, let you know I don't like you. I, nah, bro, it's all like, if a person, whether it's me or whether it's something else, and I'm like, even when that whole situation did go viral, I'm like, yeah, that's, you know, it's messed up. He did that, and I'm like, I, you know, I, I really don't know what's going to happen to this man after his uh, career. But, uh, or after, well, after that situation, I don't know what's going to happen to his career. But it's like, as the time goes on, it's like, you know, I guess like with me, I got like my own things to be worried about rather than worried about the stuff that he's doing. So that's why I'm like, you ain't going to catch me in no video talking about F Logan Paul. Logan Paul is this, Logan Paul is that. I ain't got that type of time. All right. So anyways, Logan Paul could be right in front of my house right now. I'll be confused because I'm like all the houses he could have went to why is he in front of my house but yeah it's one of those things where i'm all like yeah bro he could be in front of my house i'll, I'll probably just you know <laughs> raise my blinds up <laughs> wave then just you know gone about my business but anyways and if you want to see more moments oh, like this part. go watch the other parts to find out more but yeah i think i think people it's like if a content creator upsets you, you just got to let that stuff go, man. It's like, you can't be hold on to something. And then it's like, okay, I feel like that they, they probably could, they know too, like, oh, Logan Paul ain't going to do nothing. So that's why they're doing that type of stuff. But I'm like, you guys going to do that to the wrong content creator and you're going to find yourselves in the situation. But anyways, if you guys haven't, make sure you go subscribe to Avantax for more videos like this. Like, subscribe to me too. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and peace.